got some new developments tonight in the case of a man whose body was found in a wooded area in Plymouth. His death has been ruled a homicide and two brothers are facing charges. 19-year-old Dylan Sherman's body was found yesterday in the woods near Lane Hill Road in the Terryville section of town. News Ace Bob Wilson has been on this case tonight. He talked with the victim's mother tonight. He is live for us in Hartford with the latest. Bob? You know, while two people have been arrested, the case is far from closed. They have now discovered multiple scenes. They've had the helicopter up all day long. The police have been out there with the canines tracking a, a path through the woods. They believe more arrests could be coming. I got that phone call and he said, bye, mom, and love you, see ya. That was it. That was the last Tuesday night. That's when I last seen him. And this is the last photo she took of 19-year-old Dylan Sherman before his body was found beaten to death in the woods in Plymouth. It happened on Wednesday at the Buttermilk Falls. Oh, he's going to be loved and missed. You know, I just can't believe these jerks would do that. Police have arrested two brothers, Michael and Dennis Guerrero of Waterbury, but they have not been charged with murder, only unlawful restraint, assault, and conspiracy to commit assault. Lori Brown believes others are involved and that he was lured away, attacked, held down, and beat with a baseball bat. I'm glad they got the two people who did it and whoever else is involved. I hope they're going to get him because <laughs> he didn't deserve this. Do you think there are more people involved? Oh, yeah. I mean, his ex-girlfriend supposedly is the one who called his sister. She may be involved in it. Yep. Yeah. And I hope she goes down, too. I hope everybody who's involved goes down. He did not deserve this. He's 19. You know, you could have talked rational instead of a beating. For what? They took a baseball bat. There was two of them. This is what I heard. So I wouldn't know. A baseball bat? Yeah, that's what somebody told me. There was two of them. And he was trying to get away from them. 19-year-old, you know, getting beat by how many people? Come on, one against how many? That's stupid. It's stupid. It's, it shouldn't have happened. Now, while the Guerrero brothers face assault and unlawful restraint charges, their bond has been set at $500,000, and they'll appear in court tomorrow. I'm Bob Wilson, reporting live in Hartford, News 8.